causing animal suffering is forbidden. Is, is forbidden. What about bacteria? When we kill bacteria, do you think the most compassionate God would be happy with the state of this? No. You have to eat animals, though. There's no nice way of killing an animal. Exactly. So you agree. That so then, why do we do it? Okay, but if you put if you no, put but all the animals that eat other animals, how do you explain that? The human's life's worth more than animals. Right? You, you, you wouldn't be sustainable in the world. They ain't got enough food to have uh, every single person be a vegan. Here's a good one. Here's a good one for you, bro. My God gave us a right to eat animals, and He said He created animals for us, and I trust His judgment more than any human. I had a debate in it. Yeah, yeah. Who with? Yeah, Tristan Taylor. With Tristan, yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he made some good points, though, you know. He, what, what were some good points that he made? He said, you food in it, so... He said he doesn't care. Do you agree with him? No, obviously we do care. No, we yeah. do care as in, like... He, no, he said he doesn't care how um how, how cruel you are to animals, because he said they're animals and we eat them. No. You have to eat animals, though. So do I have to, do you reckon? Because I've been eating animals for nearly 10 years. Yeah, but so I'm like, uh, I'm like a living example of how you, that you don't have to. Yeah, previously you did though. Yes, true. Maybe, yeah, yeah, like survival you mean. But can you really survive uh, on long term without eating animals? Either? It's been nearly a decade for me, bro, yeah, and all the science is hopefully plumb. changes every time, it depends. Yeah, but, but okay, so, but we're all vegan here. All of us. And there's a massive yeah, vegan movement and there's, there's really good data on vegan diets as well, like the uh, Adventist Health Study too. Vegan vegetarians had a lower mortality rate, you got less cancer, less heart disease. Yeah, you like really, you're not religious, are you? No. Are you Muslim? Yeah, Muslim. Muslim. I don't agree with the pig. That's what I was saying to Tristan, actually. I don't know if you watched the whole discussion. No, not the whole But thing. I brought up um, Islam, actually, because Andrew's a, a Muslim now. Yeah. And Tristan was saying he doesn't care about cruelty and that. And I said, well, in Islam, yeah. they have a haram and halal. Yeah. yeah, and you have to respect animals. No, no we do, because we believe on the day of judgment yeah if you kill an animal unjustly yeah god will hold you account for that so uh, basically now we do but you gotta kill it like humane way and then we there's certain animals you can't eat the then again animals. he's gonna argue with you, the humane way of killing an animal that's what he's gonna come up with halal way you, you cut the throat if you need to place. maybe if you need to maybe the halal way is the best okay, let me ask yeah. you. and halal is not no suffering you know that right yeah that's have you that's the main goal. have you seen halal slaughter videos no, of course of course they will violate I don't have, you, agree with have you seen her last order? He's said much no, no, no. He's got a point. He's got a point where there is obviously that there is companies that violate the policies, and that's everywhere around the world. You live here? Yeah, we do yeah. live here. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So here in the UK, you get chickens that come from factory farms, 100%. And then they take them from the factory farm, they drive them in a truck to a halal slaughterhouse, yeah. they halal slaughter them, the and they live the life of suffering. Over, you're going to understand, yeah? There's bad animal. people over the world. Now about, well, you're gonna no, what I'm saying about halal for you as, as Muslim, like if you go and buy chicken at the short store, yeah. they come from a factory farm here in the UK, statistically. Some KFCs, they'll do halal chicken, right? And a Muslim might go in there and go, okay, they've, treat, they've treated this animal with respect. No, dis complete disrespect. Yeah. And then they take them to a halal slaughterhouse and kill them. And who knows what goes on in those slaughterhouses, bro? You don't watch. You know, bro, you know what it is? I, I agree with uh, some of what you're saying here, yeah? yeah. but you know, you're advocating for fully ban. That's not what uh, happened, uh, but you're gonna understand one thing. Animals are not humans as well. I know. So they're not gonna have like uh, the same like uh, treatment as like humans. So like, of course not. Gonna, there's no nice way of killing an animal. Then. Exactly, so you agree. There's no nice way to kill an animal. No, there's not. There's not, but that's- So then why do we do it? Why do we need to do it? Okay, but- So what's more compassionate? Like I, I, know, um, I know that Islam has very important parts in it about animals that other religions don't have, yeah. which is why I have good conversations with Muslims, right? Causing animal suffering is forbidden. Is her, is forbidden. Mm -hmm. Now, in the time of the, the Prophet, First, there were not factories. The suffering they cause in a dairy. Now, now uh, dairy is halal by default, yeah? You go on the shop, you don't look for halal milk, no. halal cheese. It's always halal, yeah? Because back then, there was no factories for milk. You just take it from the goat or whatever like this. Now there's factories, bro. They impregnate the, the mother. They take the calf away. That causes the mother suffering because they're taking her baby. They kill the calf if they're a male. And then the cow will go to a non-halal slaughterhouse to be slaughtered, turn into minced meat. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and you'll, ta you'll take the milk. You'll fund the industry, right? But it should really be haram. Now, now the factory thing, we don't agree with it, but when it comes to like eating animals, I don't think that there's anything wrong with that, but the way they do it, it's not happening like the traditional way that you think, where they have these animals they respect. Okay if it was happening traditional. No, no, because it's needless. It doesn't have to happen. Why do you think animals have been put in, in, in the world? 
I think yeah. they were put in the world to experience life. Okay, but if you put if you no, put but other animals in, that eat other animals, put, how do you explain that? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. If you put you a man in front, they need to. Hey? They need and to. They need to. We don't. They don't. We don't. Okay. Animals eat each other, bro. They rape each other. Lions eat other other lioness cubs. We don't eat each other's babies. So we can't look at nature and say that that's ethical. They do it because they have to. And cows never harmed anyone. Chickens never harmed anyone. Lamb never harmed anyone. And it's permissible to be vegan. You can be a vegan Muslim, no problems. And you're guaranteed this is halal because there's no animals being decapitated, no, no factory farms, this and that. It's the way to minimize the suffering you cause. Now, it's the best way, bro, I to minimize. the factory part or in animals. So you, you eat out of factory farms, brother. Because uh, you've got no other option? Yes, you can be vegan. Now, if you go into a store, right, and you go, uh, you get the vegan option, you can guarantee it's halal. Unless it's got alcohol, you just check it's some yeah. dessert with alcohol, whatever, like. Yeah. I don't know if vegans are fully healthy or not at all, man. It's healthier in many ways. You can't have full meat. It's healthier. Like, I know you do follow Tristan. He eats like a lot of meat, a lot of red meat, a lot of this and that. This isn't healthy. And I know Muslims are supposed to be, uh, supposed to be look after your health. Are you advocate for health a lot? No. You're not. So I'm an animal rights activist. I want animals to have rights um, so that they don't get uh, mass exploited and murdered. That's it. I want them to have rights. The most suffering that happens on this earth is for animals killed for food. The most by numbers. The most suffering and killing, blood spill is because of humans' lust for animals. We don't need to, bro. Yeah, but you, you, you wouldn't be sustainable in the world that you ain't got enough food to have uh, every single person be a vegan. Here's a good one. Here's a good one for you, bro. Because if we were meant to eat animals, all of us, and God would have accounted for population growth, yeah? He knows how many people is going to be on the, on yeah, the earth. What, what think, about? think. They have to grow a bunch of plants to feed to those animals, yeah? They have to grow uh, soya, oats, corn. Most of the farmland on Earth, 83% has been used for animals, right? Most of the water, if you think of fresh water, people are starving on Earth and we're feeding chickens in factory farms in the UK. Human beings are starving. And Tristan was saying, I don't care about animals, I only care about people. If you care about people... No, he was saying that. He was saying... No, he, he said he's, he doesn't care as about I animals. I promise you, he, he said he doesn't give a about, about animals. animals. I speak to him all the time. He doesn't care. Okay, but... He doesn't care. You, you wouldn't say a human's life's worth more than an animal's life? A human's life is worth more than an animal's yeah, life. Yeah, that's but true. an animal's life is worth more than our taste buds. And we don't have to cause this suffering, we can eat something else. If you're not like a farmer in Pakistan living in the mountains and that, yeah? And all you got is, uh, you ain't got access to the modern world and things like that. And they don't have access like to, to grow plants and things like that. What are they going to eat? I think they would have access to plants in Pakistan. Grow, rice in the northwest of Pakistan is all full of mountains and that. Yeah. Rice and there's nothing, nothing to grow. So in a survival situation. Yeah, but they, they, they have to eat animals. But I'm not going to go out and talk to them, mother, am I, bro? I'm not going to go out and bring the TVs out there and yeah, go have a... argument with the work that up there, innit? So they would be justified eating it. Yeah, but people do crazy things in survival no, situations, bro. You know what I'm saying? I mean, justified's a strong word. In a bad situation, yeah. I mean, because people kill each other in, in bad situations all the time. I don't think killing is justified because in this situation, there's situations where you can think killing, oh, they do it because they're in a bad situation. So I'm saying to you guys here in the UK, Mm -hmm. Right now, you don't need to. The most compassionate choice you can make right now in civilization is a vegan choice. And it would be the most halal choice. The least amount of suffering and, and unjustifiable killing. And you don't know what's going on on the other end of the halal label. But if you look into it, you might be shocked at what you find. The way I look at it, yeah? yeah. I understand what you're saying. Yeah. Make some good points. Yeah. Some I don't agree with, yeah? Okay. But the way I look at it, my God gave us a right to eat animals. And he said he created animals for us as humans. And he said which animals you can eat. And I trust his judgment more than any human. That's, that's the way I'm... Yeah, and you're not going to listen to me, some guy on the side of the road. I understand that. I know you're not going to listen to me over God, right? Yeah. But if God is compassionate, is God a compassionate or loving? Yeah, most loving. The yeah. most loving. Do you think um, the most compassionate God would be happy with the state of this shit? Uh, he, no, wouldn't he, be, would he wouldn't be. Okay. But I'm just saying, but then he's given us uh, how to do it. How, what's the humane way of... And if it's not done the way God said, then... Then, then we will be helped. Then it's haram. If you... Even the prophet said, yeah, if, uh, if you kill even so much as a big as something as a sparrow or something larger yeah. without any justification, then Allah the Almighty will uh, bring you forth on the Day of Judgment and He'll ask you, why did you kill him? Because it was His creation. What I've heard is there are insects that do get killed just trying to provide your food. They're spraying the, the plants to protect the plants because if you, if, well, this is what's going to happen if you let insects run amok on the plants. They eat through entire population's food source and humans die. So we, we have to, we've got justification to do it. You said unjustified. 
in, in Islam, it's unjust. This is completely justified. Yep. Using pesticides is one of the most justified things we do. Otherwise, we won't have any crops to feed people. But surely you can... You can What's unjustified? Still, you're killing it either way, though, isn't it? Still no, 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 but this is justified killing. This is different to... It's like, no, 100%. Well, you don't we're, think protecting... We're into no, but this, is, this is where the issue becomes. Who decides what's justified and what's not? Well, it's easy. Logic, it's logic. really easy. No, but if I say it's not, but then you're saying it is... No one... The thing is, no one's saying that it's not permissible to be vegan and a Muslim. I know, he, no. plenty of vegan Muslims. You can? Yeah, yeah, you can. You're just saying you're also allowed to eat meat, right? But you, uh, the Prophet didn't eat much meat, you know that, eh? Of course you do. I'm not trying to teach you about your own religion, I'm just saying oh, that. That was because of poverty and other things, right? But, but the Prophet... Yeah, mostly uh, dates and uh, was it grains because and things in like that. Arabia, where he lived. Yeah. But he did, there was camel meat they used to eat. If he gave us an a order, little. Little, a little amount. No, but that's because the poverty... Showing compassion to an animal is the same as showing compassion to a human. What is this quote? Have you heard this quote before? Uh, no. I don't know, you know. I you know what, bro? I, I just think that this is an abomination. And this isn't about uh, Muslims. This is about everyone, bro. This is about all of our accountability. Yeah, no. And I'm just saying that like, these factory farms that these chickens are in, they're f***ing suffering to death on their faces, which is f***ing haram as f***. I don't agree with that. that. Yeah, yeah, which is nothing... This is nowhere near compassion. And then they go to a halal slaughterhouse. And I'm just saying that this is... I mean, y you can look into it yourself, bro. And you, no, I thought the government has some sort of rules or regulation. Yeah, well, I thought... Bro, I didn't know right. this was happening. Yeah. Also, in England, uh, probably had that... I can understand if it was a third world country, it's different, but I didn't know... The, the yeah, well, how come? I'm not sure. We haven't looked into this, but that's a good point. Why isn't there any laws? There are. They're, guide, they're called guidelines. There's not really that. The farmed animals are not protected by the law, really. Like, there's certain things you can do that will get you in trouble with the law, but they, they kind of get let off. If they're not protected, like, say, a dog is or whatever, but they got guidelines in these places, like, oh, only stocking density of uh, 50,000 birds. And it's, it's just f***ing ridiculous, bro. They grow too fast to support their own body weight. They've been selectively bred. 60% um, of the mother pigs are kept in uh, farrowing crates. I know you don't uh, eat pigs, but they can give you guidelines, but there's never eyes in there watching them constantly, is there? It's just big sheds out the back of people's houses. Uh, I, you know what, bro? It's a good conversation, yeah? I agree with some points, especially with cruelty. Other points... But you, when you go into the supermarket, you're going to buy the chicken that you don't know where it's from, knowing that this is suffering, uh, causes suffering, when you can buy vegan and you know that it hasn't. What about bacteria? When we kill bacteria, is bacteria not a living It's not thing? sentient. So it doesn't experience the world. So God created animals to experience the world. They I experience... The bacteria is alive. Because well. now they're alive, but they're not sentient. It's like, this is alive, but it doesn't feel nothing. Actually. You don't have to worry about halal vegetables. Because God didn't say halal vegetables. But your, 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 your um, worldview doesn't work on God anyway. I talk to whoever's worldview I'm speaking to. No, but you need to have criteria. This, the criteria for sentience is uh, usually a brain, a functioning nervous system, a uh, brain stem connected to the brain, um, and plants don't possess them. And what was the other thing you said? Bacteria? Yeah. Bacteria are just like intelligent life forms with no sentience. There's no experience there. How do you know? Well, how do I know that f***ing, that tree isn't a f***ing, I don't know, a monster or something? I don't know. You can say, how do you know about everything, but... No, but bacteria is actually living, but only that's... Yeah, so it's a tree. And anyway, how come there's no halal guidelines for stepping on bacteria? Or no, it's not mentioned. It's just... No, but I, uh, I don't know, man. But anyway, yeah. bro, it's nice to... It's good talking to you. Like right. Take care. Bro. What's your Joey. name, bro? Joey. Joey.